Beat Shop. I'm here at the storage units that I have right here behind or up to the side here. I've got two units that I rent to store vehicles, campers, boats, that kind of thing. We're here to pick up my 64 Chevy Impala. So with that, let's get the video started. to when the original trucking channel started life as FSC Speed Shop, which this channel now is. It goes way back, so if you go to FSC Trucking and go way, way, way back in early videos, you'll see this car a time or two. This is when the shop was basically brand new, and I picked up this car for an idea that I wanted to put hydraulics in the car and make it look cool. See, I was always a fan of that West Coast rap scene when it first came out. At least when I knew about it in New Jersey on the East Coast side of things back in what was that 91, 92 time when Mini 13s and you know 100 spoke Daytons were all the rage. And this car, Dr. Dre, I feel made very famous along with Easy E and you know the whole NWA thing, so which is why the font on the windshield cricket caper, which is the nickname for this particular car. I put it in that Easy E style Compton font. And I drove this car for years like this. Um, it's just over time, th things started falling into disrepair and I decided to not run it so much. Eventually it was easier just to simply bring it here, put it in storage along with the boat and Shaka, the Datsun back there. So what we're planning on today is really simply, I need to get this car out of here in the trailer and some stuff that's in the trailer is gonna have to go here because to be honest, uh, with moving the shop, so stuff has to stay here temporarily. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Actually, since the car been sitting a while, we got stuff to move out of the way to get to it. Got a nice brand new battery for it too. So I don't have to worry about charging it. That was the problem, the battery went out on this car. I also have the battery for the Ford Motorhome. That's coming up in the next video or in the future. Of course, this is the, of course this is the trailer we nicknamed the toy box. We just haven't put any lettering on it yet. What's going on is it's full of stuff that we need to bring here that is gonna go where the car is and scattered on this side and that side. But for right now, it's just gonna go where the car is right now. But we need the air compressor to air up the tires and even a tool bag to change the battery. And uh, the rest of the stuff's coming out. Now what we'll do is we'll start with the battery. And 
so I thought it had a much bigger battery. Physically larger. interesting having to hold it open with a damn pair of pliers or rather hold it closed with a pair of pliers Not sure if that's engine oil or transmission fluid on the ground. That will complicate matters as far as whether it moves, because I have to go store the fluid if it's out. Oh, I heard something fall. Oh yeah, that's working well for me today. So the nut on the positive fell off and the bolt on the negative. I wasn't expecting the car being left on. But nonetheless, you hear the fan motor turning on. So let's give them a good squeeze. Try to make a decent connection out of it. Apparently we're going to have to put some battery terminals on this car too. Be a good idea to make sure there's oil in it first. That ad enough to run it on the trailer. I have no hopes. It might go in here, I don't know. If it don't, I'll have to put transmission fluid in it. Let's see if it'll crank. <laughs> yeah, it's if the tank fuel on the floor. The carb should be reasonably full now. working choke, so you had to crank it a lot, you know, full full, give it some pumps, throw a little, uh, throw a little bit of fuel into the intake, and I'm okay. Battery's fresh, obviously. So now let's get some air in the tires. This tire was always the one to let down. I'd rather not drive the car out with the low tire. It's looking like I won't have much option here. Uh. There's the stem. Stem's all the way on the bottom. Ah, I can't get it. The problem is I don't want to damage the tire. All right, I'm gonna have to roll the car out a little bit to get that passenger side out. I can't even get my arm in there. I just don't want to damage the tire any more than it already is. Trouble with these tires, these are Coker Premium Sport Lowrider tires. Obviously, they're very heavily expanded to fit on the rim. 
and they're very low. I do have an air gauge, I was just thinking I don't. It's in the door of the Dodge truck. The alignment on this car is shot, so. The tires are heavily worn, especially the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start it up, roll it out a little bit, just enough so I can get to that valve stem on the other side. trailer over there so that way I can make room for the car in the trailer. Alrighty boys and girls I got the trailer unloaded. Oh, that's right. Now it's straighten out the truck and trailer and load the car up.
Need to put a winch in here. I haven't kicked the car's nose that way a little. That's the hard thing. How do you get out of big vehicles and little trailers? Looks like I had more room. Now obviously we're going to have to address the tie down situation in this trailer because this thing is set up for two cars but there's only two tie downs in the very front, two tie downs in the back, that's all it came with. Well since we're using it to move my mother's furniture initially, that didn't matter. And the tie downs that are here, they're not even welded to the frame. They're just boxed in to the cross members under the plywood so they're not the strongest things on planet earth. So that's going to be modified in the future as well but for right now. This is what we have to work with until we actually get the trailer in to do the work. Mm -hmm. 